Okay, so today I'm gonna take you on a little adventure called burning peppers. It's a great time to make roasted peppers on the grill. Lots of colors available, they're plentiful, and I'm gonna ask you to burn them. It doesn't get much better than that. We're gonna go right to a grill that is smoking hot. This is running 650 degrees right now. We're gonna take our peppers, put them on the grill. We're gonna wait till every side gets black. Close the lid, come back in 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah, that's a long time, but we actually are trying to burn stuff now. Our peppers have been on, and you see this blackness? That's what we wanna see. So we're gonna turn them over, and all we're trying to do is char as much of the outside as we can get to. Another 10 to 15 minutes, we'll come back, check on them. Super easy. Just starting to pull off some of these gorgeous peppers because they're blackened really well. All this great color over them. They're all kind of crusty. They're bubbled out. Squish them in this silver bowl. So I'm just covering these up with a lot of plastic wrap. And the reason is I'm trying to capture all of that great steam in these peppers. Um, the steam is actually gonna help separate all that blackness from the interior goodness of those peppers. You wanna set these aside for a good 10 to 15 minutes. Um, that allows them to steam out and also allows them to cool down enough so I can actually handle them. The plastic wrap is now concave. <laughs> They've been sitting here for a good solid 10 minutes um, and it's now time to unwrap them and start peeling them. Now these are still pretty smoking hot. So I've got some gloves on. Um, you can see that they're really smushy at this point. And all you wanna be doing is pulling off that skin in as many big chunks as possible. And as you peel it back, you can see the gorgeous layers that are right underneath. And look at that beautiful, beautiful, soft texture. And you can see the skin really does come off really easily when you've taken the time to really char the daylights out of these things. They start off fairly sweet, but boy, that sweetness just intensifies the more you grill them like this. I like to give them a little rinse off and that gets rid of any of the seeds that are left over and any little black bits that you can't get off with your hands. This is a true labor love, but it's really worth it to get that delicious roasted pepper flavor off the grill. Now, what do you do with them? We've got a burger recipe right down here that they go beautifully with. You can puree the daylights out of them, add some chicken stock, throw it in a pot, and call it a soup. There are so many things that you can do with this great recipe. And so for this recipe and so many more that we've got coming, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Life is too short for bad barbecue.